prototype. Before we can determine which concept will work best for each subsystem, we need to learn more about the concepts. We can't just arbitrarily say that the pincher claw will work better than the roller claw. We need more information. This brings us to the next stage in the design process, prototyping. During this part of the design process, we will build crude mock-ups of our design concepts and then test them on the competition field. These prototypes will help us understand how our concepts will work in real life. Our goal is to learn as much as we can about each design concept so we can better understand which concepts work the best. The information we gather during prototyping will be needed to help us decide which concepts to use in the final design. Prototypes don't need to be extremely detailed. In many cases, a simple cardboard cutout can teach you just as much as a fully detailed production part. Only build as much as is necessary to get a good test. Don't spend a lot of effort for a little game. One of the benefits of the best robotics design system is the ease with which prototypes can be created. Our team quickly made a mock-up of each of the design concepts we came up with during our brainstorm. During testing, our team learned that some of the ideas we had worked better on paper than in real life. The lessons learned during prototyping can be easily recorded in a pro-con comparison list. We need to decide what parts of the concept we like and what parts of the concept we don't like.